Oh hi, it's Rob. And yes, it's another trailer video. One of the issues that I had when I used the trailer for the first time was that there weren't enough places to tie down ratchet straps and bungee cords. And I ended up having stuff fall off the trailer and some other things like that. So I've been trying to figure out ways around that. And because these have these nice holes for um, for the mounting of these clips. I actually should get a couple more of those. Um, because these are in here, I thought what I would do is get some of these bolts, bolt eyes, and see about putting them in approximately like that. That way I've got some nice tie-down mounts they're not going to get in the way of these unless I'm going to be unclipping the rails and moving them, which I don't plan on doing anytime soon. And this should give me enough tie-down places to do just fine. So I got a couple of different kinds. I got some that are longer than the others. Um, there are some issues with that because they're probably a little bit too long to go this way. So I thought if I put some nuts on here, you know, put a capture nut on, I could do that, but then it's not long enough to go through. It is long enough to go through up here in that case, just barely. So what I'm probably going to do is stagger these. I've got like four of each. So I'll stagger these one on each side for the long ones and then uh, well, it's two on each side for the long ones in the front and the back, and then the sides I'll go with the shorter ones that are down lower, because I think that will uh, help to give me some additional anchor points that I can use. There are also a couple of these, which are the fender mounts that are, you know, steel that are welded to the body of the trailer, so that's not a problem. Uh, there's nothing underneath here. This is just a big hunk and chunk of square tube, or rectangular tube, I guess. I also got these, which are kind of the same thing. They have, you know, bigger hoops on them so that I can use those if I run into something where I need bigger straps. Uh, I don't think I want to have them on the trailer, you know, just by itself, because that would make a heck of a lot of noise. And the other one should be fully quiet. I also got a couple of these, you know, clevis clips. For the short ones, I'm going with a washer on here, and I'm going to go this way. There we go. Now I'm just going to do this all the way around. So there we go. I've got these installed all around, uh, both sides, and uh, I think I'm ready to go with that. Now something I did notice is that the side rails have these little plastic caps on them. These are actually through holes, so these could be used as alternate mounting points as well. So if you wanted to, instead of going through this stuff, you could put eye bolts here or you could come up with a side rail piece that could then bolt on. They're about every four feet 
Now well, let's see, there's no one there about four feet to here and then short one here to right over the axle and then one there so and then another one there so I'm not entirely sure what those are for or if they're just for whatever you want to use them for but um, I just don't know. So, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this particular piece. Got more coming, but just not today. <laughs>